is a beautiful day and you have a million and one reasons to put a smile on your beautiful face and in case you think you don't well i'll give you one reason for starters you're tuned in and locked into the best show ever so sit yourself up jerk yourself up sit back relax and join me as we have a good time together i am your favorite screen diva Ayomide, and of course this is welcoming you to the crunch with ayo now you know how we do this first up is the social media banter we'll be hooking you up with all the trending stories making their rounds on social media and then we'll move to the next segment which is tea o'clock well of course i'll be spilling the tea about what is currently bothering me and the final segment of the show is let's play but this time you guys will be playing the game and it's fast as fingers so keep your fingers alive keep them active and keep them on your phone <laughs> let the show begin guys yes first up is the social media banter and first upon the social media banter nigerian actress you know, Dike recently took to her social media to say that everything people see on social media is not really as rosy as it seems or well, why according to her a lot of people see people post up luxurious lifestyles putting up nice cars traveling to dubai traveling to different places and basically just enjoying life and think that things are actually as rosy as they seem well no she according to her most times people have actually saved up most celebrities most individuals have saved up to actually live the kind of life they live now and so all you just see on social media is the end result so she was actually advising people to save so that they can enjoy life the way they want to so I'm just going to quickly read what she wrote quick advice for young hustling people a lot of you come on social media to see people who are having a great time with exotic trips and vacation and you slip into depression what you don't know is that many people plan and save towards their trips some people plan a year before or even two years a beautiful photo that shows a vacation might be a result of saving for many years don't be deceived into thinking it's that easy it is not even the flashy cars and houses and phones you see with rich people they plan and save towards it they don't tell you all you know is that they have that they just got a house go and ask them how long it took to save up and the sacrifices they made to gather up the finances see it is never really too rosy for people as it seems on social media just keep working hard save for important things save to spoil yourself and she ended it with a heart emoji Yes, yeah, so if you ask me, I completely agree with Dr. DK. So a lot of times we see things on social media and we're like, oh my God, this person has blown. How can, how can, um, how can he or she afford to travel to two different countries in this just in one month or three different countries in the space of two months listen yes it is good to dream it is good to aspire it is good to have like legit reasons to want to enjoy life everybody deserves a chance to enjoy life but don't always think that these things just came out of the blues it was overnight bam, money just came no people actually save up for things like this so if you actually want to enjoy life you want to travel to dubai save for it it may take you one year it may take you two years you want that dream car save for it and this is not even advising people to do things illegitimately because i feel like a lot of people these days especially youth these days want fast money fast blowing they don't want to actually put in the work if you really need to if you really want to enjoy life the way you want to put in the work save for it and on social media, all we see is, mm, maybe the next thing you see is, are y'all as traveled to Dubai? Don't worry, I'll carry you guys along on my social media page. <laughs> yes, guys, next up on the social media banter, Nigerian singer Slim Case is in support of the Okada ban. Yes, guys, Nigerian singer Slim Case recently took to his social media to applaud the Lagos State Governor for this new for this new policy of banning Okadas and tricycles. According to him, this is the best decision ever that the state government has made and that the next stage of this to make Lagos a mega city is to start road expansions. He also advised or um, agitated that roadside sellers should also be banned and that this would decrease or this would stop people from littering the roads with the products they buy from these roadside sellers. Slim case, I have one word for you. Or rather, I have many words for you. Are you actually considering the fact that these people that have the Okada ban thing, the road sellers that you're agitating for them to, for the state government to um, ban to, do you realize that this is actually their source of income? So I feel like people who actually who are actually who are actually supporting this um, tricycle ban, uh, motorcycle ban, and who are also agitating for road um, roadside selling ban, I feel like these people are not Nigerians because if these things if you are an actual Lagosian, you would know how important, this, how important these things are. I mean, 
If you're stuck in traffic, how exactly are you going to supposed to keep yourself busy? It's not as if the roads are good enough for you to even say you're going to be cruising up and down. Lagos is a small state and it is overpopulated. It is overcrowded. All these roadside sellers are very important. And now back to even the Okada and um, tricycle um, riders. I mean, Naya ranted about it on the last show. See, if you are going to, if you were going to ban them the first place, because I believe that this is not a decision that the government just came up with overnight. They planned this. I mean, the the good thing to have done was to have given them a good time, like a good notice time, maybe six months notice, so that they can plan their lives. You don't just wake up and then you give them two or one week notice. So that what will happen? I, did you? Okay. So now, as they've taken the job from them. Is there another option? Is there another employment option? Did you provide another employment option for them? No. And so Slim Case now coming out to say he's actually in support of it. I don't know because it is not affecting you. That's why you're in support of it. As whether I don't let Lagosians catch you because all of us are angry as it is. It's affecting us seriously. Yes, guys, finally on the social media banter, actress Yabo Ojo throws shades at Fethia Balogun on Instagram. Now, this is actually quite surprising because one would think that Iaba Ojo and Fethiya Balogun are quite close, but it seems things are not really right with them. So now, Fethiya Balogun recently celebrated her birthday, and then Iaba Ojo took to her Instagram account, to her Instagram page to throw shades at her, saying that she, um, the, um, Iaba Ojo is actually a pretentious person and is very envious of the young colleagues in the in the movie industry. She also went ahead to say that um, uh, Fethiya Balogun concocted stories and put out rumors about her two years ago that she was um, she was sick and in a coma, which was not actually true because according to her, um, Yabo, um, Faith Yabalogun was aware that she underwent a surgery and that she came out of it, but that she knows that deep inside her heart, Faith Yabalogun did not actually want her to make it alive from the surgery. See, the story is just somehow. It's somehow. She, did, she actually didn't mention names, though, in everything. She didn't mention names, and that's the issue I have with people. If you are going to call out somebody, please mention their names, because these are just speculations. We are just assuming that it's probably Fethi Abalogu she's referring to, because, I mean, the two years ago, Turkey birthday party she was refer talking about, it was Fethi Abalogu she threw the birthday party for. So, if you are going to throw shades at people, mention their names, call their names, don't do it, um, I'll call you out, catch yourself. Nobody's catching any sub. Mention their names. And then I don't understand when you ha if someone is close to you, because as I said, this came as a surprise. I believe that Faith Yabalogun and the Yaba Ojo are quite close. If there is a falling out as friends, I think you guys need to talk about it because this is where the test of your friendship and your communication comes to play. Talk about it, reason it out, and then if there are if, uh, um, irreconcilable differences, then that's fine. But then calling out people on social media, honestly, is not the right way to handle things. It just makes things messier than it already is, and that's the truth. So left to me, all these things are just petty and childish games that they are playing. Okay, now that is all on the social media banter. And next up is it's your clock. Hmm. I have to, to speak because now this is February. And honestly, a lot of my friends are getting married this February. So I have issues with Ashwebi. I'm naturally not the kind type of person to buy Ashwebi. I don't ever buy Ashwebi. But this month, I've bought close to like three Ashwebis. Now, my question is, why do people call Ashwebi for like 50K? If I called Ashwebi for you for 50K and say, will you buy it? In the market, is that the real price that they are selling it? Because we both know that's not the real price. Because now you expect me to buy a Shwebi 50k. We've not even talked about the sewing, you know. We've not because Nigerian tailors, nobody is smiling. They will charge you more than the amount of the material, the um, what the material costs itself. So we've not talked about the sewing. Then you still expect that I will attend the wedding and bring either monetary gifts or material gifts for you. On top, say, at the end of the day, I'm not sure I will see it's party rice. Because as your friend, I'm supposed to be up and down, helping you out and not just sitting down. Please, be considerate. Yes, people are here to celebrate with you. You want to celebrate with your, with your, your joy. You want to um, be, be part of your joy and everything. But please, be considerate. Don't be calling Ashwebi for 50K, 70K, 30K. You can call Ashwebi for 10K, 75. And you don't have to make people break the bank because I feel like this is fraud. Honestly speaking, it's fraud. You are defrauding people. You know the actual amount, but you add m plenty money to it just so that you will be able to sponsor your wedding too. I beg, our attendance is enough to help you sponsor your wedding.
Anyway, guys, that is all on T O'Clock. And now to the final segment of the show. It is Let's Play. And yes, I like I said earlier, it is fastest fingers. So now you see a couple of codes, numbers scrolling on the screen right now. They are for your recharge cards, fastest fingers. And now do kindly let us comment below if you are the one who won the card. Yes. Yes, that is all we can take on today's episode of The Crunch with Ayo. I had an absolutely good time. Some people are asking where is Neye or oh, you are wondering where is Neye. Neye is on our way. <laughs> you see our next show. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for joining us. Now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your screen right now and turn on your post notifications. Also, feel free to like and follow us on Facebook at Press TV. You can also follow us on Instagram at Press underscore media and visit us on our website at www.press.ng. And don't forget, comment below if you want any of the cards. Yes. Thank you guys. Yes, I remain your favorite screen diva. I'm Yomide and stay safe. It is bye for now.